Hi guys and welcome to another how to video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to wire up a battery to battery charger. Uh, in, uh, in particular this one which is from Sterling and it's called a Pro Bat Ultra and it's a 12 volt 30 amp model. Um, I know ourselves uh, since the Euro 6 engines come out and some of the Euro 5s as well these uh, Parts of it, well, these bits of equipment have to be fitted now um, due to the smart uh, alternators and the regen um, braking systems. Um, now, I know if, if many of you have looked, uh, especially on YouTube, on how to wire one of these up, I haven't come across one yet. Uh, there's plenty of videos on there telling you what they're for, uh, but none actually how to wire up. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to show you how to do it. There are basically three main parts to this uh, for wiring up. Um, I'll show you the inside of here in a second, but mainly uh, the first one obviously is the wiring setup. Um, second is, um, well, there's, there's basically three modes to choose from. And I'll go into them uh, in a bit more detail in a second and which, which I use. And then there's the third uh, process is which everything, when everything's wired up, uh, you've got to basically select which battery you want. Um, so, first off, uh, I'm going to show you the wiring side of it. So, uh, if you look either side, there's two clips. Basically just push them in and, and away that comes, it's as simple as that. Uh, the fixing points by the way, there's two on either side, that, them's your main fixing points to secure it to the wall or to inside of your bed cabinet or, or wherever you're placing it. Um, it is a pretty simple uh, setup really for the wiring. Um, your main feeds, um, this one here, that's for your main uh, vehicle battery. Then you've got your second one though, which is your negative, which um, I would say if you can uh, wire straight back to uh, your battery, or if you can't get it to a nothing point. And then you've got your third one here, which is basically uh, your positive to your leisure battery. So them's your your, th your three main uh, battery cables going in there. Um, you've also got uh, a battery temperature. Uh, which this goes straight onto uh, the negative on your leisure battery and that detects the temperature of the battery uh, and if it gets too hot then this basically slows things down um, and I think in turn if things get too too cold uh, it'll basically turn things up to, to, to warm it up so it, it is a good thing to have um, fitted and it does come with a kit as well. That uh, has two wires coming at the end of it and they're basically, if you can see this clearly or not, your top two inlets there, um, they're basically going to them two slots there. Um, the, th the second part that I was talking about is, is the three modes that uh, it can run on. Um, one, two and three. The first one uh, is called an automatic activation uh, and basically that works off um, uh, the regen brake inside of it and it, and it triggers a, a 240 second timer. Um, I know when testing the voltages when the vehicle is running and things like that the uh, can I say the tolerances for the for the voltages that, that, that it puts out for, for us anyway um, I don't think would have worked very well and when you move on to mode 2 that's more or less the same feature but with an ignition feed the first one you don't need an ignition feed the, the second one you do then you come to mode 3 and this is the mode that I use anyway and it, and it, and it has worked um, and basically it's, it's ignition based uh, it needs an ignition uh, to turn on and then when the ignition switched off it switches off um, personally myself I mean right or wrong I don't know but it works um, I would rather have a system like this switched off when the ignition's off because that's for me that's when it's supposed to work um, for example between uh, for modes one and two they will carry on working if that timer has been triggered uh, just for me I don't like the fact that it would be drain, maybe draining power from the vehicle battery when it when it's stopped um, I, for me I can see problems occurring from that so that's why I use mode three and basically, uh, mode 3, uh, if you look down here, um, you can see the three points here. This bridge here needs to be removed, and the ignition feed goes into the bottom section here. Um, it's very straightforward to do. I'll just take this out now.
take that bridge away and then you put your ignition feed straight into the bottom part there um, and that basically then this system will only use once the ignition um, is, is switched on and then again once you turn your ignition off and take your key out it switches off um, for me personally my peace of mind that that works better and we've we've tried it on the Toyotas, we've tried it on the Citroens and the and the Peugeots, and it works fine on all three of the the new Rio bases that that we do. Um, so that's that side of it. Um, the final part would be um, to select which leisure battery you're using. Um, now what I will do, I will move into one of the vehicles that's got one of these fitted, and I'll show you the process of of selecting that now, and it includes using these two switches here but um, I'll move into the vehicle now and I'll, uh, I'll show you how to set that up right okay so we're in the vehicle now uh, I've got the ignition running as you can see the lights are on in the, uh, the sterling product at the minute um, the light is flashing on the bottom battery and we want to move up to the open 14.6 battery. So, normally when you first switch the ignition on, and obviously it's your, your first first time of this appliance coming on as well, you normally have a 10 second window. Um, but I, I've missed that now with obviously setting up the the camera and everything. So there is another way around it. You've got two two buttons down at the bottom. I don't know if you can see them clearly or not. Uh, the ones I pointed out earlier on. You hold them two buttons down. Bear with me a second. Hold that down for 10 seconds. And this allows you to select the battery. So as you can see now, all the lights are lit up. You can use one side for selecting up. And one side for selecting down. So we're going to move up to the open battery. As you can see that's on the light that we want there now. Now you can either leave that as it is for 30 seconds and it'll store it automatically or you can hold both buttons down again for 10 seconds and that will store that battery then and then you don't have to do anything after that. All this system will run automatically. So once that's stored There we go, that's flashing away. Let's reset itself there now, and that's on the open battery, which is what we need. So that is working as it should do now. Um, we've selected the battery, obviously the wiring's been done, uh, the mode's been set. Uh, you can see under the, the ignition wire at the bottom there, like I showed you earlier on. And the other wires as well, that's the black wire there, that's the temperature. Uh, sensor that I showed you, that's the top two boxes at the top. So that's it now, um, that will work um, when the ignition's on uh, and do its job and charge the battery as it should do. Um, if I've missed anything um, and you want to ask any questions uh, leave them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Alternatively if you need one of these products fitting uh, either give us a ring or email us and uh, we'll, we'll see what we can sort out for you. Uh, but thank you very much for watching uh, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.